are we doing? It is time for the final episode of Wrapped Up Retro in December. Don't <laughs> That is not correct. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll be having one episode every month in the first half next year. I think we've had mixed luck with the books that we've had so far. So I'm intrigued to see what our final book is going to be. I don't know, I don't know predictions. <laughs> don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, shall we just choose a book? Should we just choose a book? Should we just choose a book? Should we just choose a book? I have immediately been drawn to this one that was just sitting on top, but I don't know if that's too easy. Hmm. Hmm. This one? Oh, don't fall. It's gonna fall. Okay, well, we're just living with <laughs> Maybe this? Oh my God, guys, this is hard. No, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for whatever this is. <sighs> Picking these is just so horrible. Okay, all right. Let's see. Can you see what it is? Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. So this is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I haven't actually read anything from Naomi Novik ever. I think this is gonna be a good wintry one. Enchanted Forest, Villagers. Okay, this is gonna be a good wintry pick, but I've owned this for a long time. And I think people, I think on Goodreads, this is marked as a series, but everyone tells me it's not a series, this and Spinning Silver, and that Spinning Silver's better. And you just, I don't understand how it works. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Cause I originally thought they were a series. That's why I got uprooted first. But everyone says, oh, it's not a series. You can just read Spinning Silver. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm excited to read this. this is one that a lot of people have recommended me based on my taste in thrillers so I'm excited I'm excited to see what I think of this and I think it will be a good wintry read so let's get into it let's start up rooting and see what we think four to six weeks later okay hi <laughs> you may know it's on somewhere I've never been before I honestly don't know how much I've spoken about this on the channel like I know I've spoken a lot about it to my patrons I think I've mentioned it once or twice on the channel, but Tom and I have moved across the country, or take me to another country, we're in Wales. <laughs> We've moved to Wales for about two months for Tom's job and I've come with him because I just read. <laughs> so I've accompanied him and um, yeah, we're gonna be living in this flat for the next two months. We got here a couple days ago and we love it. It's very nice, it's a lovely little flat. We've got a little kitchen back here, it's a little sitting area, TV, bedroom upstairs. You'll see, you'll see it throughout. Uh, I don't wanna do like a tour because we've we've lived in it <laughs> for two days, but um, you'll see it throughout the vlogs coming. We're gonna be here for two months. So, so we got here Friday afternoon. We spent Saturday and Sunday kind of just unpacking and living our lives, you know, getting situated and it's Monday. So I have tried to read. I think I started this on Friday, Uprooted, which you just saw me unwrap. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I've been trying to read it over the weekend. I have not wanted to. I'm so bored, guys. I'm on page 117. I did want to get, like, in these vlogs, I like to check and do, like, every third book. I don't know what it is about my personality. I really like to check and do, like, at equal points. So, like, every 140, I, I Google, what is a third of the book? You know, I work it out. Not Google, I calculate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I check on you like all that time, but I can't even make it there. I need to just talk to you because I'm so bored. I have not wanted to read this. I, there's, my YouTube watch later is overflowing. I've got like 200 videos on there. There's so much I want to watch. I'd much rather watch a video than read this. I thought I would love this. I thought I would love this. Basically this book is about a girl who lives in this little village and there's this dragon. He's called the dragon, but he's a wizard. He's a man. I think, <laughs> who every 10 years takes a young woman from the village to go and live in his house. She has to go live there, right? And she's chosen. She's not supposed to be chosen. She doesn't think she's gonna be chosen, but she's chosen. And he's like teaching her magic. Maybe she's good at magic. I don't know. This book doesn't need to exist. I don't understand why it exists. Here's the thing. So often I read fantasy that I love, right? Where people like, the criticism people give of it when they don't like those books are nothing happens, nothing happens, right? People say that about Erin Morganson. I love Erin Morganson's books, The Star of the the Night Circus. People like nothing happens in those books. Valid. <laughs> But I love the writing. The writing, this is doing absolutely nothing for me. I've never read anything by Naomi, no Naomi, no Naomi Nova before, but so many people recommended this and Spinning Silver to me when I loved The Bear and the Lighting Girl. People think they're quite similar, you know, like kind of with a village, perhaps Russian influence, grim fairy tales, magic, whatever. This is not on Catherine Arden's level. The Bear and the Nightingale when it meets Uprooted. You know, you really jumped out the window when you compared yourself to me. 
Girl, we don't even look alike, smell alike. We don't know none of the same people. We don't go to none of the same places. We don't even do brunch together. I've taken to calling, I've just dropped the book. I've taken to calling her Catherine motherfucking Arden, as you guys know, because it's Catherine motherfucking Arden. But <laughs> I'm so bored. If I, if this wasn't like a one book vlog, like these wrapped up retro vlogs are, I would DNF this. I would DNF it. I can't believe I have believed for so long that this was gonna be like a five star for me. I was gonna love it. Absolutely not. Why does this book exist? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening and the writing isn't great. Girly, the main girly's annoying me. The dragon's annoying me. Everyone's annoying me. I don't like any of you people. Why does it exist? <laughs> That's my question. Anyways, I am gonna try and continue this. I wanna get like two thirds of the way through today. I wanna check in with you again this evening. So I'm gonna get through as much as I can. I'm actually just about to go and try and prep some minestrone soup the rest of the week for lunches. Cause I love minestrone soup, it's really like cozy. So I'm gonna go and try and prep that and I will continue listening to the audiobook. I'll force myself, and I'd much rather watch YouTube. Well actually I've, I've just been watching Kayla's latest video. So I might finish that <laughs> as a little treat. And then oh, I'll read more of this, but I'm really not enjoying it guys. I'm really not enjoying it, but we must read it because I need to get this vlog to you. And that's the whole point of Wrapped Up Retro, right? These books have existed on my TBR for so long. They've languished on my TBR for so long. And the point of these vlogs is to see, was I missing out on something or was I not missing out? And I don't think I was missing out, but who knows? I'm only a hundred whatever pages in, but it already just feels so long and so meandering. I'm not enjoying it, but I'm gonna go make minestrone soup. So come with me. <laughs> about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm now 286 pages in. So I've only got this last little bit left. <laughs> so I have thoughts. I have so many thoughts. I don't know where to begin. I don't know what to say to you. Like, I don't know wh where do we start <laughs> with this. Also, I realize I haven't clarified that this was supposed to be the last book of wrapped up retro in December, but then I got ill in December. So this got pushed to being January's book I feel like in the intro. Hopefully I managed to cut most of out the intro where I'm like, this is the last book of December. But in case I didn't, it didn't make sense. That's what happened. I'm still really not liking it. Zero character development, wooden cardboard cutout. Yep, yep, yep. Wooden cardboard cutouts of characters. I have no attachment to any of them. Our main girly, I couldn't even tell you her name. She is like the chosen one. I, this is might be mild spoilers. Mild, mild spoilers. This, the stuff I'm referring to is more what happened in the first 100 pages still that I have more thoughts on where the book has carried on and it's made me think about that earlier stuff. So not really, but like, if you really care, <laughs> everything is easy for her. Everything is easy for her. She, this, the dragon, who isn't even the dragon? Why name a character the dragon if he's not gonna be a dragon? That should be our first question. The dragon is like the most powerful wizard of all the ages. And like, in the week, it's like, oh yeah, I can cast spells as well as him. Yeah, get out of here. Get out, it's so annoying. Everything comes easy. There's never any struggle. There's never any tension of like, is she gonna get through this? Cause I know she will. It's the kind of book that is like, it really thinks it's it. It really thinks it's it. More stuff is happening now, but it's just so like, and? Do you know what I mean? And? Like, <laughs> it's so, stuff is happening, but I could not care less. Bored shitless. Like it's got the plot beats, it's got, Here's the character arc, but there's no flesh to it. There's no heart to it. 
I'm just reading, I'm reading like the first draft and it's too long. It's also, it's way too long. It's way too long for nothing to be happening. Nothing to be happening. I'm really not enjoying it. I can't believe I was gonna love this. I thought I was gonna absolutely love this. You know, it sounds crazy. And it, indeed it was. Please, if you have read this and Spinning Silver, should I still give Spinning Silver a chance? Cause I know so many people love that. Or should I just not? Because this is so boring. And it's blurred by like Robin Hobb and Ursula Le Guin. Like what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> the magic system sucks. The writing's boring. I'm so sorry. Guys, my reading has not got off to a good start this year. This is only gonna be the third book I finished this year also. And it is the 20, what? 23rd of January. <laughs> I've stopped reading apparently. I've stopped reading. I've just stopped reading. Okay, I'm gonna go finish it. And we'll, we'll reconvene with my final thoughts, but dear God, what a sad little life, Jane. Like this is, it's really bad for me out here. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, I finished it, but at what cost? I didn't need to finish it. I, that added nothing to my life. In fact, it subtracted from my life. <laughs> Finishing this book. I, I am so confused. Thank God it's off my TBR and I finished it. That is the pro of Wrapped Up Retro, but oh my God, guys. What the hell? <laughs> they put me through purgatory. Yeah. Mm. They put me through hell on this earth. There is like 50 pages of battle scenes that are just so tedious to get through. Like, I don't care. Maybe it's, some of it's because I don't care, right? But also I think it just wasn't written well. Like there was no, it was just plodding onwards. And oh, this happens and this blows up and then this person stabbed and then this, and the characters I don't care about. And no one cares about, no one cares about. Not just me. <laughs> I hate this. I'm giving it two stars. I'm giving it two stars. The only reason it's not one star is because I kind of reserve my one stars now for things that I think are like, is it a one? No. <laughs> Am I about to give this a one star? I think... Am I gonna give this a one star? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm giving this a one star. Am I giving it a... No, come on, let's be... Did I have any enjoyment from it? No, I'm gonna give it a one star. <laughs> oh, God. Yup! 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 I just want us to take a moment beyond this. Is it a one... <laughs> I don't want to accept it. I'm gonna give this a one star. I, that is my level of enjoyment, right? I do not necessarily think, maybe it's a two in terms of like quality, but in terms of enjoyment, I I did not enjoy a single part of this. I just want us all to take a moment to re realize the fact, I've read three books this year. I read Emily Wilde's, which I gave three stars. I read God Killer, which was for my book club, my Patreon book club, which I've given two stars. I've given this a one star. Not only are we decreasing, I mean, we can't get any lower. It can't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> but that means my average rating for the year so far is two stars. Two stars. Two stars. I've been set up to fail. What is going on? <laughs> Why am I hating everything? I, I really did not enjoy this at all. At all. I thought it was incredibly boring. Her sidekick friend is so much more interesting than she is and should have been the main character. And the fact that I've cut out a part in the last check-in where I was like, this isn't a romance. There's no romance here. I was like comparing it to the dynamic in the Baron and Nightingale, if you know that, with the Winter King and the dragon. You know, I think that's why people make the comparison. I was like, this ain't a romance. Is the this ain't a romance in the room with us anymore? Mild spoilers again. <laughs> I can't contain it. He is nothing but rude to this girl. He is just always telling her what an idiot she is, what, you know, how stupid she is, how slovenly she is. And here's the thing, I love a good grump sunshine romance. As you guys know, that's my favorite kind of trope. This ain't grump, this is just mean and not getting along. You and grump sunshine, there's, there's chemistry, there's moments of like, you know, joviality and getting along compliments behind the the grumpy facade that ain't that it's nowhere to be seen <laughs> let women live their life and men stay out of it i don't think he's necessarily a bad guy but there there's nothing there there's no stop trying to same thing happened in god killer stop trying to make romances happen when romances don't need to happen in fantasy i hate it i hate it I hated it. What a terrible start to my reading year, guys. Then the video I'm doing next 
I am hoping the whole premise of the video I'm doing next is to get me some better ratings. I am really hoping it will, but I'm feeling nervous that it won't. Oh my God, guys. One star. Anyways, that is the end of another episode of Wrapped Up Retro. This is episode four. We will do 10 episodes in total throughout the year. So I can't work out what month it will it will lead up to, but you can do the math. July will be our last episode, maybe. I don't know. So we'll keep going. We'll keep unwrapping the oldest books on my TBR. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and comment. It helps boost it in the algorithm. If you enjoyed this book, please tell me why, because I don't get it. <laughs> I'm having problems with my reading guys. So please also help me out. I'm gonna actually do a community post tomorrow, the day after this video goes live, um, asking for your guys' help. So keep your eyes out for that, cause I need it. But I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.